The Senate has called for a verifiable timeline that will indicate how Nigerians will be vaccinated. The report is presented from our studios. The President of the Senate, Hamad Lawan, during the resumption of the Senate plenary after his lengthy Christmas break holidays in Abuja, says the pandemic must be treated as a national emergency. Lawan, while lamenting the second wave of the pandemic being experienced, also taxed agencies responsible for the management of the pandemic to ensure the judicious use of funds set aside by the Senate for the crisis. Leagues our country, like many others, is experiencing the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. We therefore need to continue to treat the situation as a national emergency. The National Assembly made special provisions in the 2020 budget, which runs up to 31st March 2021, and the 2021 budget as well. We need to ensure that the funds are properly utilized for the prevention and management of the pandemic. It is equally important for the Senate to engage with the executive arm of government on the selection, procurement, distribution, and administration of the COVID-19 vaccines. We must ensure that the selections of the vaccine for our people follows the appropriate and due scientific process with National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, giving approval only after exhaustive tests before the final selection and approval. We must ensure that the MDAs responsible for this exercise develop verifiable processes and timelines on how Nigerians will be vaccinated. Lawan also urged Nigerians to unite against differences causing tension between ethnic groups in the country. It taxed leaders of various ethnic groups to show leadership and work towards dousing the tense atmosphere which is capable of causing divisions across the country. The very recent emergence of inter-ethnic and inter-tribal conflicts in some parts of our country is worrisome. The Senate calls for calm. The situation also calls for leadership at all levels of government. Leaders must unite to fight and defeat criminality in the country. Leaders must also unite to fight any divisive and centrifugal sentiments and tendencies. Political leaders are problem solvers. As parliamentarians, we should search for possible legislations to address the issues that tend to create tensions amongst our people. There is no gain saying the fact that these are two main issues calling for urgent attention. And this time, social commentators warn that the twin pandemic of COVID-19 vaccination and ethnic tension should not be politicized. Rather, a pragmatic solution should be preferred. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.